and we will start recording. Excellent. Okay, so we are here to do character creation for Hell's Rebels. This is going to be fun stuff. Um, so, Nick, I don't know if Mike explained it or not, or if you're mm -hmm. aware of the adventure path as far as how it's designed, specifically with regards to the next one. Um, but uh, I think he says something like, first we're igniting a rebellion, then we're kind of like trying to like defuse it. and then... that's, the, that's the other adventure path. Yes, basically, okay. so Hell's Rebels, you are part of the rebellion. Um, we're the good guys, basically. The next adventure after this, the one that comes out next year, is called Hell's Vengeance. And you, you play the other side of basically the exact same story. Um, so it is a care. It is a campaign designed for evil characters. Yep. So uh. once this one's done, if we want, we can move on to Hell's Vengeance, and it's the same story that um, that everything kind of takes place at the same time, but they mm -hmm. don't necessarily overlap, and they won't like ruin one another. But okay. yeah, so it's kind of cool that one leads into the other. The Hell's Rebels Okay. My question Hell's is this: um, It's I'm noticing on the cover here it says Part One of Six. No, yep. Is all six of those related to Hell's Rebellion or no? Yep. This one. Yep. Okay. Each adventure path is a six chapter adventure designed okay. to take you from one to 18 ish. Um, mm -hmm. It varies a little bit, but they publish a new chapter every month. Um, okay. With the exception of Wrath of Righteousness. And, and I've got a, um, a subscription for them. Mm -hmm. I just got the notification that I was billed for chapter three. Okay. So yeah, because Mike was explaining to me the uh, was explaining to me the difference between adventure paths and modules and all that. So, because yep. yep. modules are one offs, adventure paths are like full, like camp story driven campaigns. You know, I I, I will say this because um, uh, just to anybody who hasn't played a module yet or just in general, don't do dragons. Com is it what was it? My dragons command or dragons demand. demand? Yeah, dragons demand. Oh my god, it just drags on sooner or later, and you're just like, when is it gonna end? Part of that could part of that was also the DM running it, Nick. So. Uh, yeah, that's that is true, but still, it just oh man. The dragons <laughs> demand. Uh, I'm pulling that up. I have it. It's a level seven module. Um, level well, you end up at it? level seven. The Dragon's Demand is an adventure for level one. Well, you start out at level one, then you get to like level seven. At That's the right. End. Yeah, you end up at seven. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Yeah, um, it was. It's just that the dungeon that you go into is just so friggin. The yeah, the actual dungeon is really dra droning. I I as a D as the DM for the one I did, I fudged a lot of it. Yeah. And then me and Mike got invited to go and play through it again. We're like, sure. Why not? You know, hmm. help the new DM have some experienced players. They actually have played this one before and they decided to do the whole friggin' thing. And it just was dragging on. I'm like, okay, we fight the dragon now, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Like I want to kill the damn dragon. Let's, let's, let's move on. Got a musket and a pistol, but, Either Whatever. one. Either one. I don't care. So okay. So we are. My he fine. There you go. The other one is my human character. Okay. Um, we are live. We yes. We've been live. We've been live okay. for a couple minutes. We are here. Uh, so here, um, we've got there. three players. We may be adding a fourth. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Um, so we've got Mike playing the half orc paladin Gunther. Mm -hmm. Um what what's your what are your paladin? What is your god? My paladin is Regathael, the um Imperial Lord of Vengeance, Chivalry and Duty. Nice. Duty. Um <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Chivalry's dead, little rant said. Um not in not in Pathfinder. Uh, in uh not in true in real life either, bud. Nick is playing uh Kamal, who is the yep. something druid. Human druid. The human druid of. Do you have a god? Uh, Erastil. Erastil. Excellent. Old dead well, eye. Little rant or Jay or Jalen is playing Bacchus, the Kitsune gunslinger of Erastil. Who apparently is very trigger happy. Erastil. He is. Is he going any kind of archetype? Uh, we're not sure yet. Um, I was. 
we were worried more about character creation earlier, um, mm-hmm. and I didn't go over the archetypes with him. Um, so he may, oh, shoot, yeah. he may end I, up going with an archetype. Yeah. You, you know what? My my main question is to him, uh, uh, to to uh, Little Rastil is. Is every time he goes and does an attack with the one of his guns, is he going to pull a Deadpool and start going bang, 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 bang? It depends. If he takes rapid reload and starts grabbing alchemical cartridges, he can reload as a free action. So, so here's another question. This pertains to the gunslinger. Does that mean if he's playing a rather um bouncy female, can he do a grenadier and bounce bullets off of his tatas? Ah, Nick, Nick. What? Not- I was watching it before we started. Shut up. <laughs> My God, Nick. Um, no. Everybody has their own guilty pleasure in anime. Mine just happens to involve chicks bouncing bullets off of their tits. And I'm sorry, but high five. Uh, I applaud women who can do that Wait, and still shoot misfortune. somebody in the face. Um, misfortune, yeah, in league. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Let me meet you to sh- introduce you to shock and awe. He is. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, he does. Hey, have hang on a second, alchemy. guys. Okay. So I'll go through because I've got his character sheet in front of me real quickly, and then we'll go through everybody's. So um, he is, yes, Kitsune, uh, Verastil. Um, he has got um, a point in Bluff, Craft Alchemy, Intimidate, and Perception. Okay. Um, he's got point blank shot at level one for plus one up to 30 feet. Um, his camp- the traits that he took. He is the killer campaign trait, or not the campaign, killer. Of course, he take trait. killer. So yeah. he gets additional damage equal to his weapons crit modifier. In this case, he's wielding plus a four. So plus four, yeah. Because guns are ridiculous. And he's got. Um, he took the urban sleuth campaign trait. Um, yeah. Much of Kintargo's history is lost or hidden, um, and he is basically he's. Um, we don't know where he's he's from. We'll discuss that. But uh-huh. he's fairly new to Kintargo, and he has heard of the local urban legends and has become fascinated with what caused Professor Mangvoon of the Alabaster Academy to become the city's most infamous serial killer. So he's kind oh, of looking nice. for answers um, and how to about um, uh, into Professor Mangvoon. Um, so that actually gives him a plus one on any knowledge local check that he makes. Um, so okay. he's fascinated with that. So he is he he did take knowledge local. Um, he does not have knowledge local right now, but when he does take it, he will get a bonus plus one because of that. Okay. I tried to convince him to, but he didn't want to. Whatever. He I with rec- a pistol and a rapier. Um, yeah, as a okay. player, I recommend he take that just because that's always – that is probably the most useful – one of the most useful knowledge checks Especially in the game. Especially when you're playing an urban campaign, which I yep. told him. He said no. Yeah. So maybe at level two well, he'll take it. So, uh, the, yeah, he, he takes it at level two. We need it all throughout level one. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna, like everything you need at level one is going to be a knowledge local, and then there's none other throughout the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he fights with a pistol and a rapier, wears leather armor, and he is loaded up. Oh, over his leather armor, he actually wears a barbed vest as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Ouch. He's got all sorts of traps and tricks up his sleeves. Um, he has bear traps with him. He has caltrops. Um, he's got a couple kits. He's got a standard dungeon <laughs> kit, gunsmith's kit. He, he's got a saw. I- and he for, wears a scholar's I wonder what that's and a scarf for. <laughs> and has a pair of smoked goggles with him as well. For a a campaign I did, we oh, um what? had a go- for a campaign I did. We had a goblin that liked to get into everybody's bags. <laughs> Is this so what I, I'm thinking of, Mike? So what? I would put a live bear trap in my bag all the time. <laughs> Nice. And it actually, I, I, we never got a chance to use it. Oh, oh. That oh that's too bad. That would have been um, so bad. Otherwise, that's basically him. Do you want to describe what you look like? Like a humanoid fox. Dude. fox. Okay, he's a humanoid <laughs> fox. Fantastic. So what does the fox say? Um, Whatever the hell I want him to say. <laughs> okay. Attaboy. So, do you want to roll your stats then? First? Uh, All yeah, right, let's roll your stats. What do I do? Right here. On the dice cam. Okay, dice cam. So I'm trying this out right here. No, I, I've got the 5d6 right there. All of these? Yes. Don't move the box. You don't tell me what to do. I do tell you what to do. That's one of the perks say, of being dad. I was about to say, wait. Oh, my God. Shut up. 
Okay. Oh my god, you're terrible. So we drop two hands up with an 11. His dice rolls go to 11. So, okay, wow. we're going to uh, write these down. Yep. Uh, Nick, you if you around? go to his stream, it's a three second delay. So, ish. Uh, here's a question Is it on YouTube or Twitch? It'll be on Twitch. It's on Twitch. Um, during the gameplay, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link here. During the game, you won't want to because you'll see basically all the GM shit. Yeah. You'll see all the maps. You'll see all the like traps and hidden doors and all the characters. So I will know what you know, essentially. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, you, I mean, for this one, it's fine. But, yeah, during the game, obviously. Now, what um, players in my last campaign did is before we started, they'll go, yep. they'll open up the chat because you can pop the chat out and then they'll close the stream. So that way they could follow along with the chat because it, um, you know, we would get a few viewers and it would become very interactive and people yeah. would <laughs> ask questions or comment directly to one of the players or to me and stuff. So it becomes very interactive. So it's nice to have the chat open to, to you know, talk with people. Plus, yeah. I miss shit all the time. And so, you know, can I, can always, I just, you know, quick to point that out. Jay Reacher, what's up? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream. As I was just talking about it, Jay Reacher was actually in our Curse of the Crimson Throne game. What up, dude? Red, also Wait. good to see you. Like Jack Reacher? No, I don't know. All right. I think that's what you mean. Maybe. All right. Can I can I say one thing real quick though? No. Uh, I asked the viewers, please forgive me. I have not played a druid in forever, and uh, Mike is trying to help me break the streak of constantly playing monk. Because oh, I've yelled at him to stop playing monks. <laughs> I'm well, sorry if I like the idea of running up to the bad guy and falcon punching him in the face and then but going. You can do that with a paladin too. Falcon punch. <laughs> nice. Okay. Awesome. So, Next roll. So he's gonna please yep. forgive please forgive me if I do something dumb or make a mistake playing that. Oh, oh, do. baby, a triple, triple Six sixes. Six. He actually rolled four sixes. Well, deja vu. <laughs> you can, you can yeah, deja that, vu. You can see that on the stream. So, so for those who are um, are Not unfamiliar with Pathfinder, normally you do a four d six roll, and you drop the lowest to get your score because we only have three people. Um, we're doing 5d6 and dropping the two lowest, basically just a better chance of getting a little bit higher scores because a typical party is four people and we've only got three right now. So um, so he's rolling five and we drop the two and then the remaining three are the ability score. And so, yeah, he just rolled an 18, which is a fantastic There's his deck score. score. Bravo. Yeah. Fan There's a 20 dex. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Speaking of speaking of die rolls, I'm keeping the first two I did before yes. we start streaming. And, and actually, yeah, because as a kit soon, he gets plus two to dex, so he has a yeah, plus he has a 20 dex score if he wants it. Yeah. Sweet. Next so roll. It, and he's shooting on touch. <laughs> and a three, and he is left with a 13. So I'm trying this out for those in stream or watching the video. Um, I have macro set up in roll 20 that it will use for some stuff but i may end up using the dice box for other stuff as well so we'll see um, i'm trying it out it seems i mean i the camera doesn't seem to be too bad so we'll see how it goes all right next dice roll we've got an 11 a 13 and an 18 so far now remember charisma is a very useful skill in this campaign so it's definitely good to have your charisma score up there i mean a his two main two is we drop and we have Three more sixes. That's another 18 he just rolled. I would throw that into wisdom just so he has more grit. Yeah. Yep, that's also a good one. All right, last score. Here it is. I get, like, all sixes for everything. Five that? ones. Five ones right here. I'm a punch. <laughs> I'd make him re-roll that, honestly. Nope. Oh, my God. Two ones, but three fives. So that's not he bad. ended up with an 11, a 13, a 15, and two 18s. So, let's put these in go. here. Where do we want your stats? So, okay. dex is so, good for you. Mm -hmm. Wisdom gives you more grit. Charisma is important here. Uh, let's go with the 15 in wisdom. 15 and in wisdom. Well, you have two 18s, remember. Yep. Okay. Fun fact for you there, uh, Rant and Little Rant. There is a um, gunslinger archetype that uses charisma instead of wisdom for grit. Really? Yeah, I, it is the mysterious. Cool. It is the Mysterious Stranger archetype. Mysterious Stranger. Ah. So basically every character that Clint Eastwood ever played. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel lucky, punk? 
That's Dirty Harry. Different story, man. Um, <laughs> it's still Clint Eastwood. Yeah, but <laughs> played as a joke, wow. Mike. Here's the problem. I don't think Little Rant knows who Clint Eastwood is. So I know. He, he knows who. He knows who. Oh, good. Okay, he's cultured. Okay. Uh, there we go. Spend one good point to gain a bonus on all firearm damage equal to a charisma modifier. Whoa. Wait a, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. As a swift action, oh, can spend a grit point to gain bonus firearm damage equal to your charisma modifier. Yep. <laughs> means if you're charisma if you put an 18 into charisma you get the plus two your charisma modifier is plus five so you can get plus five damage yeah can especially since he doesn't yes. get yes okay archetype? okay yes little rant is playing a mysterious stranger yes. uh, oh my god good call oh okay my god. add a new archetype on when you there. play this game for three you know three years you kind of learn things oh that is disgusting oh Okay, so... I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let me actually do this real quick. Just hey, so Nick, we'll have you roll next that way, because you were already started. Yeah. Yep, okay, so let's finish doing his abilities. Um, okay. okay, so 18 I got an 18 and 13 I'm assuming you want first. 18 in dex. Yeah. Because that also will help your... Uh, 15, and you have got a 13 and an 11. Wait, no, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, we missed one. Do one more. Shit, we missed one. There's six ability scores, not five. Shit. Idiot. Yep. I'm an idiot. I know. That's why I called you one. Uh, drop a one and a four, and he's left with a six, a six, and a five for a 17. Holy I would put man. that in strength. Crap. Yeah. Holy crap. There you go. All right. You've you got to have a decent number of strength. you got to be able to hit. Okay, so 17. All right, so where do we... you got a 17 and an 11 and a 13 left. Okay, so let's put an... Uh, a 17 in intelligence. Okay. 13 and 11. Uh, what's good for... What's a con for? Constitution is hit points. Okay. I would probably uh, put the 17 yeah. there and the 13 in intelligence. Yeah, let's put the 17 in con and then 13. Okay. Yeah, because 13 is always is good for a starting out intelligence because there's a lot of combat feats that say minimum requirement 13 intelligence. So, yeah, yeah drop that there. Okay. So now we'll go in here and we'll make you Kitsune. Um, there we go. Just because it already had all the shit like added in there. Okay. Oh, go back. Now. Hey guys. Go. Yeah. Um, I gotta. I actually have to take off. Give me fifteen minutes and I'll be back on. Okay. No worries. No worries. We'll finish up here and um, Nick can go through and do his roles and everything. Right, I'll be back in fifteen back. twenty minutes. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Um. Okay, hold on. Just a second. Crap. Um, we just lost Nick as well. Hold on. Uh, how do I add? How do, okay, we, we need to figure out how to add Nick. Nick, there we go. Uh, add the contacts. And we're going to call him. Sorry about that. Jesus. Okay. You got me? Yep, I got you. Okay. Okay. So let's finish this up. You get um, a bonus starting language as well. All right. Should... Nick is the one that's the, the druid. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I'm the druid. All right. Me and you are going to talk to each other secretly then. Uh, How's oh, that? Because I can't take druidic. Uh, no, you cannot take druidic. No, you can't take druidic, but um, I do get sylvan as a bonus language, so you could take that. All right. He, yeah, he gets with. he gets Sylvan as a starting language as a Kitsune. He gets that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, though well, there you go. Let me um so, Yo, hold on, let me double check on that because Here's what it shows is available, basically. So most of the uh, people in uh, Most of the people in Cantargo are human. Okay. Hmm. So a lot of colony. Uh, <laughs> Rolling, rolling ability scores. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep, I get Sylvan as a bonus language, so yeah. Nice. That works. Uh, what's Shuanti? Shuanti is... Um, I think that's like a, what is it? another it's, humanoid race. Like, yeah. It's more like my... Um, God, what is Shuanti similar to? Um... Kind of like natives, if that makes sense. Uh, let me show you a picture of Shoanti. I, I can never remember. Um, 
are they aren't they the young uh, people are, look like are they supposed to be like the i'm just guessing just because of how the uh how it sounds and my buddy wally happens to be from africa but it sounds like it might be uh, the um an african based uh they're almost race. a little bit like like an african like native um, okay like uh um Almost like an Aborigine type character. Oh, okay. So then or, they're like or, really or cool. um, a Native American. They're more Native American. That's what they are. Okay. Okay. They're, they're kind of a Native American type character. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want the audience thinking like that dude's racist. No, I actually legitimately have a friend who's from Africa, and um, <clears throat> he's from. I'm trying to think. Niger- he's from Nigeria. Hmm. So he was t- he was telling me about how like you can usually tell um based on words that they speak if you don't know the language where they're from mm-hmm. because of certain sounds that come with the language it's kind of like a latin yeah it's basically yeah. influenced a lot of the current languages yeah yeah okay so he's going to take aslanti as well and you get one more skill point hmm Anything but knowledge local. Knowledge, knowledge local. local. All right. Uh, you might. Uh, is that where he's putting it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap! If you put it into acro, he could have a plus eleven to acrobatics at level one. Oh sweet. Uh, oh right. my god. I say why not? I mean, he's got a twenty he's a dex and he's a twenty be charisma. Huh? So his ability scores. Little Rant has nine strength. Uh-huh. 13 it's intelligence. No, you get a minus 2 strength because you're Kitsune. Oh, that's right. Be- so, yep. I won't be doing a lot. 9 of strength, 13 intelligence, 15 wisdom, 17 mm-hmm. con, 20 dex, 20 charisma. There because you go. Because Kitsune get plus 2 to dex and charisma. I am awesome. Cool. That is disgusting. Asher, if you want to hear a real scary one, let me pull out a... I got... One of my character sheets from one of the campaigns I play with Mike. Listen to this. I got a, uh, I have a, uh, a monk. His strength score twenty, dex score twenty, con fourteen, intelligence fourteen, wisdom seventeen, and charisma's twelve. Jeez, he's a monster. He's a, uh, he's not a regular monk. He's a flowing monk. So mm-hmm. basically, every time something tries to attack him, he can either automatically go into a trip to, trip attempt or a reposition attempt. So basically it's like, oh, you swing at me. Okay, I do judo and throw you on your back and laugh at you. So nice. he's he's very, very fun to play with. Um, if anything, I got uh, – I was playing a campaign with Mike, and I got stuck in a room by myself surrounded by like seven guys and was basically having to like – try to not die because they were swarming around me. I managed to kill two of them, knock uh, two more down to health, and at least do a few points of damage to the others and manage to s- barely survive. So right, it was let me get this set up intense. here for you. Um, well, Are you going to be editing mine and uh, Mike's character sheets while... Just in Hero Lab. I'm not going to be editing them in Roll20. Okay. So I don't fully understand the Roll20 sheets and... Yeah, yeah gonna... cuz I I looked at it and I don't really understand either. The Hero Lab I've heard before cuz I was looking uh for a Pathfinder app for my phone. It's it's pretty nice. Yeah, it, it's got a nice setup. Yeah. So, okay. Um what is okay, you worship Erastil. What is your um alignment? My alignment. Uh lawful neutral. Okay. Um plus 2 to 1 ability score as a human. Hmm. Uh, can I do my roll, finish my sure. rolls first? And, sure. And oh, okay. Decide? So, we were doing these earlier and testing them out, and Nick rolled right here triple sixes and Woo! two twos, so he got 18, and then he did another one, where was and it? And I got a 13. Oh, a 13. So we dropped two and a three here on this one. So these two rolls together, so hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, I don't think it's showing the mouse, but yeah. So, um, so we've got a 13 and an 18 already for Nick. Okay, go for it. All right. Triple sixes again. <laughs> two and the four. Another 18. God, you guys are going to be so strong. I, I want right. to tell you right now, Mike and Steve, whenever I uh, 
do die rolls. They're, they're just like, curse you and your Irish luck. Yeah, Mike was telling me about that. Yeah, your rolls and are just it, disgustingly good. Yeah, it doesn't help that I've got the red hair to go with it, so. <laughs> Freaking ginger. This man has no soul. Oh, are, you ki- are you kidding? If you count the freckles I have, oh my god, from the back of my, basically, uh, back of my knuckles, up my forearms, around my shoulders, and down the other arm. Just yep. freckles. Oh. I have plenty of souls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Six, four, and a three. That's another 13. All right. Two uh, and the one. We got yep. two more to go. All right. Yeah, while we're doing this, I'm writing them down for myself for notes. All right. You're going to get 13, 13, 13, 18, 18, 18. (laughs) Don't jinx me now. Uh, Oh, 21. So drop the two and the three. That's a 16. That's not bad. Not bad Uh, at all. That'll play. Five. Heck, I got a plus two to um one score. If I end up putting that somewhere as I need, I can just use my plus two from being human. So I got one more, right? One more. All right. Last one. Five ones. Oh. oh we dropped the two twos, and you got a three, three, and a four for a ten on your last score. Huh. Okay. That- so for those who don't know, ten is like – the average score. So plus zero to anything for right. Mod the higher bonuses. your score is, the higher what's called your modifier, and you use that modifier in a lot of things, basically on attacks, on skill checks, and whatnot. And it gives you bonuses. Ten gives you a zero modifier. If you're below ten, your modifier is negative. If you're above it, it's positive. So. So in short, folks, I'm kind of boned in a certain Unwanted. category, unless I decide yep. to take my plus two from being human. And, and so apply what, it to that. Yep, and that's what happened a little rant. He rolled an 11 and put it into strength, but because of his race, he mm-hmm. actually gets a minus 2 to his strength. So his strength score is a 9, which gives him a minus 1 modifier. So anything that he does that is strength-based, he'll mm-hmm. actually get minus 1 on his rolls for that. Well, plus the thing I'm doing, because I, I don't know if Mike said it to you before we started, is that uh, I'm playing a druid, but I'm being a little more melee. Because... Okay. Uh, I don't mind having an ammo companion. So, um, and for the new players, what that what ammo companion means is that I get to have a critter that follows me around, and you know, I tell it to go. You know, like if it's a dog, hey, go bite that guy in the ass. Yep, it's a and, pretty. It's it's basically kind of like an NPC that he controls. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. How do you ankle bite something in the ass? He didn't say ankle bite. He said just go bite that thing in the ass. Like, I said just go bite that guy in the ass. Yeah. Uh, I thought he said go no. ankle bite. No. Go, go <laughs> oh, no, bite no. his ankles in the ass. No, no. If I'm going to have someone bite something on the ankle, it'd be a goblin. But I can't command goblins, sad to say. <laughs> like, hey, you, Smelly, go bite him on the ankle. <laughs> and they'd look back and they'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's a goblin. Yep. And goblins, are, they're smart asses, but they're not that smart to right. begin with either. Right. All right. Um, also, for the new players, what it means by uh, a more melee uh, druid is that the difference is that I would have – Probably put one of my higher scores in strength just so that way I can uh, hit stuff. Because normally uh, with a druid, it's kind of a spellcaster class, so you usually kind of ignore that. But I'm kind of breaking the rules on that because I want to be able to hit things. Nice. Yeah, so, druids are typically a spellcasting class, sometimes a healer. So. Yeah, but they can also be solitary uh, combatants as well. Exactly. And they get a lot of really nifty little buff spells to where basically you can in- increase your allies or yourself you can increase your scores by like what four points yeah it depends on the spells you know come time it's just a couple points here and there so yeah which can make things fun so that means if i want to i can make little rant have a higher score on like his deck so he's even more dodgy or maybe uh his charisma so little he can get more dodgy threat. enough yeah <laughs> well i want this is this is what i'll do I'll, I'll i'll do what happened to flash the flash we'll put him on meth and just, oh my god. Just let him run. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, Why not give so, him speed? <laughs> he's going to be like, I, 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 got, I got speed. I got speed. I got speed. You can't me. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, I'm ready to start plugging uh, okay. these in if you want to. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, seeing how wisdom is like my key stat for being a druid, I'm going to put an 18 there. Okay. Because I want to be able to 
be very good at my spell casting this. Okay. Uh, my other 18, I'm going to put strength because I want to be able to hit things and, you know, have a good attack bonus. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think I'm going to put my 16 in, uh, let's see here. I'm going to put that in, uh, I don't know. I don't know, uh, Mark, what, what do you think? Cause I'm kind of, I'd think con or charisma. Uh, I'm thinking con. Because need that HP. So, yeah, I'll dump that in con. Okay. Uh, I'll put a 13 in... Uh, let's see here. Um, I'll put the 13 in dexterity. Okay. And one in... My other 13 in... Uh, I'll put that... Give me a second here. Uh, I'll put that in uh, charisma. Okay. And I'll put the 10 in intelligence. Okay. And I'm going to take the plus two that I get from being human. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that in my uh, intelligence modifier. Uh, reason okay. why, folks, for new players or anybody else who's out there is because um, a lot of combat-oriented feats require that you have a minimum of 12 to 13 intelligence to be able to use them and see how I'm a little more combat heavy. I want to be able to have some of those feats because they let me do some nasty stuff. Yep. So, yep. So all the races have different bonuses or, or detriments. And as a human, the bonus you get is you get plus two to one of your ability scores. Little Ranch is and playing what's called a Kitsune. It's like a, a fox like humanoid. He mm -hmm. gets a plus two to his charisma and his dexterity at the cost of a minus two to his strength. So he's a little weaker on the melee side of things. Well, the, also the cool thing about the human is they can actually take an alternative racial trait. Right. It gives them another plus two to an ability score. But here's the drawback, folks, is that it gets rid of your bonuses you get for ha getting an extra feat at first level. It gets rid of your bonuses for um, skill points. Yep. And I think there's one more thing it gets rid of. Uh... Nope, yeah. that's it. As a human, you get a bonus feat, which is just another kind of like a, a um, it, it's just a, an extra feat that you have for your character, and you get an extra skill point. So you also, so as a druid, you know common and druidic, and you get one additional starting language. Uh, I'll take Sylvan. Sylvan. Um, where, there it is. So that way, me and Little Rant can have our secret talks, and make fun of Mike when he's not paying attention. Sounds good. Okay, so as a druid. Uh -huh. Um, add a nature bond. Um, my nature's bond, I'm going to go with the domain. Okay. Um, the domain I'm going to choose is, let me see here, let me get to my domain page and my, uh, cleric page. So, so a, a domain is essentially a school of spell casting. And as a, a druid, you can either have a domain or you can have an animal companion. And, and he's going with a domain in this case instead of the animal companion. Uh, let me see here. I think I'm going to go with um, probably, let me see here, because I'm trying to, cause some of them are actually pretty nice. Yeah. Because, like, you get the fire domain, There's so you get the... There's an arson domain? <laughs> huh? There's an arson domain. Oh, really? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, apparently it's like an associated or a subdomain of fire. Actually, one domain I like that uh, somebody recommended to me was the uh, plant domain because it get basically it lets you oh, wow. encumber your fists in wood. Uh huh. At six so, level. So oh, no, you wooden fist as a free action. Your hands become hard as wood, covered in tiny thorns. Uh, your unarmed strikes do not provoke attacks of opportunity, deal lethal damage, and gain a bonus damage rolls equal to half your level. Wow. Yep, and then you get Bramble Armor at 6th level, which is a pretty nice little, you know, natural armor bonus. Yep. So, um, I think uh, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see here. It's kind of hard to decide because 
a lot I, I will say a lot of the domains they give you options for are actually pretty nice mm-hmm. and i'm kind of being tugged between the plant domain because then i could always take a level in monk and do punchy things mm-hmm. though we'll, we'll we'll keep that secret from mike so that way he doesn't be like <laughs> try to throw a book at me like nick you're doing monk things again you're not supposed to uh take the monkey domain <laughs> <laughs> uh and then there's the fire domain where you get to just shoot fireballs and burn stuff so um as a standard action you can do a scorching bolt three times plus your wisdom modifier per day yeah <laughs> holy crap Wait, yeah which actually that's what i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the fire domain okay so okay i'm gonna get a little rant is gonna shoot people in the face i'm gonna light them on fire nice Nice. So with the domains, you've got domain spells, which basically this is his um, his school of study, basically, for d- domains. And so he gets certain spells because he studies fire. Um, and then a couple added abilities, um, including immune to fire mm-hmm. um, and fire resist. Wait, your fire resist Im- improves to complete immunity. Yep. So and then, of course, I've got my... You got my fire, fire bolt at 10. Oh, at, at 20th level, you gain immunity to fire. That's what it is. Yep. So, yep. And 12th level, I'll have a, a resistance of 20. Uh, so. Yes. Yep. yep. And uh, e- exactly. So, and then you'll get a couple of bonus spells. So, there, each class only has certain spells that they can learn. Um, mm-hmm. And so, in addition to his druid spells, he also gets these domain spells as well. Which, luckily, druids learn a lot of. Fire spells too that deal a lot of damage. Prime example, flaming spear. You yep. create a nice little God, fireball. So nice. That's probably about the size of say uh, I don't know a basketball. Yeah. And it goes any direction you tell it to. It goes exactly it, like you're like you can say just move there and sit in that space where that dude is. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm and, not going to worry too much about which spells you have now because are you a spontaneous caster or do you have to? Are you like a sorcerer where you have to learn your spells and that's what Um I believe for druids they are I think they're spontaneous casters. Um let me see here. I'm looking through it. Um Let me see here. But um but um but Yep, they are spontaneous casters. Okay, yeah, so you get three zero level spells per day and one first level spell per day mm-hmm. plus one domain spell per day. Uh, Sweet. Let's see your spells. Here we go. They, oh, yeah. Divine spells. Oh, no. You must choose and prepare your spells in advance. So each day you must choose your spells. Yeah. So you're essentially spontaneous casting. Yep. Oh, yeah. And can store, channel, store spelled energy into summoning spells that you haven't prepared ahead of time. You can lose a prepared spell in order to cast summon nature's ally. Right. Yep. That's right. Okay. But, yeah, you, you prepare your spells each day as opposed to, like, a spell book of spells or something. So. Yep. Okay. So I won't worry about which spells you have because those can change every day. Yep. Um, if they change or whatever, you, like before, if they change on a, a, a daily basis or something, if we if, if an adventure crosses days, mm-hmm. you know, or um, when we begin an adventure, say, you know, here's what I have prepared, whatever. Okay. Skill points. Um, you have six available. I have six skill points? Yep. Okay. Um... Let me see here, because... Uh, as far as knowledge goes, geography and nature are your class skills. Yep. Your class knowledge skills. I probably want to put... Uh, and then you definitely have, want to put one in nature. Okay. And then you have well, climb, fly, handle, animal, heal, perception, ride, spellcraft, survival, swim. Uh, one in survival... One in perception. That plus ten survival at level one. <laughs> How much for perception? Plus eight. Oh, well, that's still pretty good. Yeah. Uh. Um. Probably. So I've used I've used three, three points left. of. I have three left. Yep. So. Okay, I put one in nature, survival, and perception. Perception, huh? Um, let me see here. Uh, how about one in uh, knowledge geography? Because knowing your way around is important. Sure. 
and one in heal and spellcraft. Okay. Um, add to the call. He's back. So how do I add him to the call? Damn it. No. Uh, here we go. Add to the call. No. No, damn it. I can never remember to do this. Okay. It should be. Why can't I not add him to a group call? God, I can never remember to figure this shit out with. <laughs> uh, show about that thing. You said my survival check was a plus 10, was it? Yeah. So, let me see here. Survival's based on... Wisdom, I believe. Yup. And... All right, this may, this may put it on hold, but I'm going to try this here. And... Hello? Wait, okay. Now, how come I can add you to the call? I can add people to this call, but I can't add you to the call that I have with Nick. I have no clue. All right. Well, Here, I'm gonna I'll hang get. Up. I'm going to hang up on him and then add him to this call. Okay. Uh, Nick, where's Nick? Did you add him as a friend? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. There we go. That's weird. So he just finished rolling his skills. He got... His stats? <laughs> 10, 13, 13, 16, 18, 18. Very nice. Yeah, there's Nick. I don't oh. see him yet. Add people to this call. Here, I'll get them. Add the call. What the hell? Things are probably popping up. He doesn't understand what's going on. Probably not. Poor guy. All right. All right, you know what? Let me do this. I'm gonna hang up and I'll just recall the group. Okay. Oh, add to group call. There. Wait. Add to group call. What the fuck? Why does he not? Why is it? Okay. He was just calling me, and I'm trying to click add to group call. All right, hang on. I'm gonna give him a call on his cell phone. Hold on. I kept clicking add to group call and it wasn't at him. Hello? Was... Yeah, I'm back on. That was weird. Okay. I kept clicking add to group call on your name and it wouldn't actually call you. Because he was calling everybody else. <laughs> no, it. no. I it, it it went to do that a couple of times and I went to respond and it like disappeared. I'm like, what the deuce, man? Uh, yeah, it kept doing All that. Right. So. Okay. so you want me to go ahead and do my rolls? Um, not just yet. Um, what were the last three skill points you wanted, Nick? Uh, Crap. Uh, I know I put one in perception, one yep. in uh, nature, knowledge nature, one in survival, one survival. Like you said heal, heal, um, geography, yep. and uh, one in. Sorry, give me a second. Uh, and one in spellcraft. Okay, excellent. Yeah, he has a plus ten to survival at level one. That's that's not on on how what's that's not too crazy. I've seen some plus three class skill, plus four for wisdom mod, and plus two untyped bonus. Oh, uh, probably a uh, druid bonus. See, that would have been the same. Uh, okay, me. what am I missing? Oh, I don't need that there. Uh, Did you pick okay. a domain, Nick? Yeah, I picked the fire domain. Oh dear, uh, that isn't. That's player knowledge, but I was I as player knowledge, I would say that's not a very good choice. Why is that? We are in Cheliacs. A common thing Cheliacs people do is summon devils, and they're pretty immune to fire. Uh, is it too late to switch? Nope. You would okay. you would know that. That's something that you would know in the Cheliacs region. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. Oh, crap. Um, well, if they're summoning demons, I'm guessing that they're probably immune to... Um, I don't know, Mike, what do you think of the plant domain? Because there's, like, some little stuff that can, like, mess with, like, you know, restrain people and stuff. 
that's not a terrible idea. Granted, some of those plant spells require you to have plants in the area. So, like, in outdoor combats, that'll work fine. Well, plus also then there's, like, the natural armor benefit from... There's a lot the, of armor the, benefits. I mean, you get bark skin at level 2, you get the bramble armor at level 6, and then growth, wall of thorns, I mean... I mean, another one I would recommend, because don't you get the weather domain as another one? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're all so. optional. I mean, well, the thing, they, they the, the base druid has a specific list of, um... Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, air... Air, animal, earth, fire, plant, water, weather. You know, if you do weather, that would go with that storm druid idea well, you wanted. I, see, like when I have it in, in Hero Lab and I have it set to all only valid items, it shows me all the domains, but also all like subdomains. Like there's mm -hmm. um, an arson domain. Yep. You, you know. see, the problem I have with the weather domain is that its first uh, power does non lethal damage. You realize how powerful non lethal damage is, though, right? Uh, if no. you, okay, no, that that would be a no, and I'm embarrassed um, to say so publicly. No, okay. You're not. You're just not used to the system. Really, non-lethal. If the non-lethal damage equals his regular damage, the guy goes unconscious, no matter what. Right. Okay. Um. And the whole let's call lightning and fun. What Sorry. was that? He says. Then he can do that thing that he does. A thing that he what? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. The I don't, where if they're like prone or some crap like that, and I get extra bonus. No. On my attack. Don't worry about. No, it. if you're ranged, if you are ranged, you take a negative four if they're prone. Yeah, if they're prone, it's actually harder to hit them with the ranged weapon. I think yeah. he's talking about like, he's talking about his um else, his grit um killing a basically getting a grit point back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, killing. If you kill someone, but that's it's if you knock them down below zero. Well, you if know they're what? already at zero, he could go to coup de gras, But anywho, yeah. you, you, you know what, guy? You know what, guys? Yeah, you kill him. Oh, that's Flat. right. If, if you get the kill on them. So um, if you're coup de grawing, you're technically getting the kill. So yes, you're getting the grit point back. Yeah, killing blow with a firearm. It well, it just says when they reduce them to zero or fewer hit points with a firearm attack. Mm -hmm. So yeah. You, you know, I see your point on the weather domain, Mike, but the problem I have with that is also a lot of the early spells, while they're good for obscuring the opponent, they also obscure me and my allies, so... Unless they have dark vision. <laughs> well, yeah, unless they have dark vision. Um, which, I don't know if dark, dark vision works on a fog cloud or yes. obscuring... It does? Yes. I mean, it is considered magical darkness, but typically the dark vision works. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with the plant one because I just I like the defensive bonuses I get for it okay. a lot better. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and backseat duel you. I'm just giving you my opinions. Yeah. And that's um, all this game is, is opinions, and I get sick of it sometimes. Yeah, and given the fact that um, I worship a Rastil, that kind of falls in line with him, so... Or even um, the well, it's like oh, even the animal domain. Wait, if you're taking the animal domain, you might as well be a regular druid. <laughs> yeah, which would be kind of silly. So, yeah. um, and just, to to be honest, I wouldn't take the earth domain because there's like some of the spells just aren't that good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the plant domain. Okay. Okay. Um, for your feats, what uh, feat do you have at level? Actually, you get two feats as a human. Okay, um, one of the first ones I'm going to take right off the bat because it's a really good level one feat is toughness. Yep, okay. So, oh, that's uh, always good. Yeah. Uh, Mike, do you want to inform the viewers what toughness does and why it's awesome? Plus three Tough hit points. Basically, you get plus one hit point per level. Your first three are up front. Yep. There you go. Yep. So you get bonus that's what three toughness hit points. Rocks. Uh, and then at level, starting at level four, you get an extra hit point per level. Yeah. Yep. Your hit yeah, point Nick is your life. Yeah, I'm good at this game. He's still good at this game too. Don't don't throw poor Rance under the bus. <laughs> I I know I know I'm, it's I'm not. It's been being... a while. I'll, uh, I'll 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 get back. Like I haven't been playing it as long, so I don't know all of the stuff like, on the top of my head. But the... I have I have here allowed. I'm like click toughness. Boom, here it is. But yeah, I also oh, um sorry. could not finish the campaign tonight, so we canceled it for the rest of the night. So oh, oh. that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Oh right, well. And you got one more feat as well. Uh, yeah, I'm looking that over. Uh, doesn't Wooden Fist just basically give me 
improved on Armored Strike? No, no. It's no? only with it, it basically allows those your wooden fists to do lethal damage, but it does not give you improved on Armored Strike. Nope. You don't have lethal damage without that. Okay. Um, <sighs> trying to think here because it's a free actions to turn your hands into wood, basically. Yep. Yeah. Um, combat casting. Yeah, combat casting. Because a really good spell for early druid is flame blade. Mm -hmm. And of course, shillelagh is one of my personal favorites for a druid because putting shillelagh on a freaking club walk up here's two d (laughs) six. Bam! Right in the face. Yep. So. Right in the kisser. Yeah, literally right in the kisser. So you know, combat casting wouldn't be a bad one. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll go combat casting and toughness. Okay. Um, did you take any traits? Um, I'm actually looking at traits. Um, one I found in the advanced uh, player's guide. It's a human. It's an alternative human trait. It's called Heart of Wilderness. Heart of the Wilderness. That, that, that is an alternate trait, but it's not a standard trait. You know what I mean, Nick? Yeah. You still yeah, get it, the other two. All right. Yeah. Yeah, the, what this is is he's he's gonna lose out on that bonus skill point to get heart of the wilderness. Okay. Um, but I still get the standard six, or no? You would lose a skill point because you're not you you lose that ability. Well, I'm saying he would um, just hang on. Let me. What's his intelligence? Uh, my I'm intelligence up right now. My intelligence it's, is a twelve. Uh, Oh. Yeah, it's advanced race guide. It's heart of the world. One of the heart of traits. They lose the. Oh, skill. it's an alternate racial trait. Yes. yes. Okay, so that's not an actual trait. Basically, so your racial traits, you get a bonus feat, and you get one extra skill point per level. So technically, the I alternate was, uh, racial support. trait will re- um, replace the skill trait. So you don't get the bonus skill point per level. Okay. Don't. So I start. Rating. So my skill points I started out with just the basic six because. Well, then, or, then in this case it'd be five if you took an alternate racial trait. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let me see here. Add alternate racial trait. Part do of the you world still want it? So, um, racial bonus equal to half your character level on survival checks. Also plus five <laughs> to stabilize when dying, and so, add half their character level to their con score when determining negative hit point total necessary to kill them. Th- that wow. is amazing, honestly. You said so I'd, I'd lose one skill point? Yep. Hmm. So Does basically, this... you're harder to kill because you're... Basically, to kill you, it's your negative con. Mm-hmm. With Heart of the Wilderness, you add half your character level to a negative mm-hmm. con. So basically, the higher you get, you know, the harder you are to kill. So right now, you're to kill you, it's you'd have to get to negative 16 hit points. Mm-hmm. With Heart of the Wilderness, it's negative 17. Hmm. Which isn't much right now, but it, it scales up. It gets your better, level. yeah. Yeah, and then you also get plus five. It's easier for you to stabilize yourself when you're knocked unconscious. And that's, it's like a D20 minus your hit, minus your negative hit points, plus your con mod. And it has mm-hmm. to be 10 or higher, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, you get another plus five to that to stabilize. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, that combined with toughness makes you pretty difficult to kill. You know what? Yeah, I'd be willing to lose a skill point for that. Okay. I wouldn't so, blame you. So what, do you um, got? You've got, what were the skills I put points in again? You have heal, knowledge, geography, knowledge, nature, perception, spellcraft, and survival. Huh. I'd, I'd say, say with a paladin, you could probably sacrifice heal. At level yeah. One. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do that. I mean, it's a plus eight. Your spellcraft is plus five. Yeah. Spellcraft is always, you know, is, is never bad to have either. Hey, hey yeah. Nick, how hmm? um how dipl- diplomatic do you want to be? Uh, if any. He's got a thirteen charisma. That's not terrible. No. Did you put and plus, any I don't, I don't get I don't get uh, diplomacy. I was asking if because well, you sure... don't get it as a class skill. You can still put points in it. You just don't get the plus three bonus as a class skill. 
Yeah, That's why yeah, I was I know asking that. if you wanted to, because I found a religion trait that gives you diplomacy as a class skill and gives you a plus one. So a trait effectively gives you a plus four. It's called um, Erastil Speaker. It's out of yeah. Face of Purity and Inner Sea Gods. Yeah, there's a couple traits that basically make um, a cl- make a skill a class skill for you. Okay. Um. I don't know. Are druids normally very diplomatic, or it's up to you. How do you want to play your character? Um, I'm assuming because he plays a rat. I'm worshiping a rasto. That would make sense. I mean, I mean, you're technically either lawful good, lawful neutral, neutral good. Well, you're he's lawful druid. neutral. You're, no, you're. Oh yeah, lawful neutral. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Um. You know what? Just, there's a religion trait called patient optimist. Yeah. Yeah. Plus What's two that? bonus to diplomacy checks to influence hostile or unfriendly creatures. Mm-hmm. And he can retry it. Do you That's want that the... one? Talking to animals? Because, you know, we might have to deal with a dire bear at some point. <laughs> Drew it all. Are, are you sure we are mostly going to be in the it city? Is mostly, it, it is mostly urban. So um. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute my, um, I'm going to talk to the stream here. I'm going to mute, mute Skype for a second. So, okay. Crawler, welcome to the stream. Thanks All for right. joining. Yeah, we um, had, how um, fast do you want to be in combat, Nick? Because we only have three Me? players. Yeah. We did uh, five D6, do you six, to... drop two. What's your dex? To have a little bit higher chance. I'm trying to remember of, what number I had put in my dex. I think that was where I put my um so he ended up my first really 13. I think that's where I put that. You can click um, on your I mean, character and look at that. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? He's, eh. he's playing a gunslinger. These are his abilities. Okay, because I was going to recommend the reactionary yeah, trait to give you a plus two on initiative. Two Dex and he doesn't have it in there. He's also huh? got some really good he doesn't have it in there. With, with, oh, okay. With three people in a Actually, you know what? I'll be, I'll be right back. I really got to use the John. Five okay. Six drop All right, man. Instead of 3d6 drop or 4d6 drop one. So, Okay. He had to use the John. Okay. Did he make a decision, though? Uh, not yet. I recommended him try, um, and it, try the, uh, reactionary trait, but him okay. and he, he doesn't fully understand traits all fully yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Reactionary is not bad. I've played it before as well. I mean, I, I like reactionary. It. Um, yeah, I mean, traits are basically, they're just, it's a more fleshed out background of your character. It's a half a feet too. Yeah. It's yeah, a half a feet, and it it helps. It, it, it gives it just gives more depth to your character, really. Yes. Than yeah, traits. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, if he didn't have to do his traits tonight, I could help him with traits at some other time, like sure. tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, that's not a big deal. All right. Okay. So what? Yeah, yeah, you can if you want. Yeah. Yeah, better pump them up, or you'd have to rework a lot of numbers in your counter. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So. There's not, there's not people complaining about us on stream or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Crawler, I, um, I don't remember everyone's. It's hard to understand you. Your friend's sound is still coming through. Yeah, it was coming through. Red, I apologize for that because I didn't mute their audio. Um, or I didn't mute the Skype audio. I just muted so they wouldn't hear me. Um, I was just explaining to Crawler that how we did it. Normally, you do a four d six, and you drop one. But because we only have three players, I wanted them to have a little bit higher ability scores. So we did a 5d6, drop two. So they still only end up with three d6s for ability scores. But rolling five, they have a little bit better chance of rolling higher scores than um, th- than rolling just four. So that's how they ended up with very high ability scores. So All right, next. I don't remember if um, Crawler... Is, was one of the players from our my previous campaign, Curse of the Crimson Dawn. I don't remember all of their um, mm-hmm. uh, their Twitch names, so it may have been, but um, yeah. So okay, so we'll um, finish up. We'll do feats. Oh, um, weapons, armor, all that stuff, gear. What do you have? You start with 150 gold. I don't think he's still here. Okay. Okay, I mean, I if you want, I, caller. Can... I couldn't remember if you just were a regular that hung out or not. And if you want to wait for him um, while we're no, waiting, he's I can start... on his microphone again. That's him. That's my way of saying I'm back. <laughs> but um, uh, do you know what you want for gear? For me? Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I was looking over weapons. Uh, I know it says that a druid can use a spear. Does that mean a long spear too, or no? 
Uh, let me pull up weapons and valid items. Uh, I don't think I, a long spear shows up, no. I mean, technically outside of um, what they can have, you're not really that restricted on weapons. It's just armor. You can't wear metal. I mean, you could yeah. you could use some, you take a penalty for using something that you're not adept at, but it's a pretty severe penalty. I mean, yeah. if you really, really wanted that item, you could swap out that feat and take the proficiency for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's up to you. What, he's not proficient with simple weapons? No, they're not. They're very restricted on weapons. Wow. Yeah. It's a druid, yeah. Um, you know, they've got club oh, okay. dagger. I was like, he's proficient on some other simple weapons, like a quarterstaff and a spear, but just not all simple weapons. Yep. Yeah, they've got club, dagger, dart, quarterstaff, scimitar, scythe, sickle, short yep. spear, sling, and spear. Also proficient with natural weapons, and yeah. And of course, if you want to cast spells while in wild shape, you have to take the feat. Yep. Uh, I guess for right now, I'm going to go with uh, a scimitar. Okay. Um, and let me look up something here, because I was thinking about getting it made out of a special kind of material. Um, you probably won't have enough gold at level one. Yeah, probably not. You so can, it's only double for some of the weapons, and especially since he's very limited on what he can get, he could get a cold iron weapon. They're only double the price. You know what? Let me see here. Spear. Uh, oh no, scimitar. Oops. Yep, scimitar. Uh, okay, we go scimitar. Okay, so it is right now uh, fifteen gold. If you want, what, what were you thinking of a specific material or cold metal? iron? Cold iron. Mm-hmm. That's uh, just double the price. Yeah, I believe. It, it actually would only be thirty gold. So you could do a cold iron scimitar. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, I will say that's going to be very expensive to upgrade later, but whatever. <laughs> so is it considered? Because this is the thing I've always been kind of a little bit confused on, and um, trying not to sound too stupid, uh, over the internet, uh. When you make a weapon out of a special material, does that make that masterwork or no? No. No. I didn't think only, so. Only certain materials do that, like mithril is one. I um, think adamantine is another. Adamantine, I think living steel, and a bunch of others. Yeah. So but basically, it, in order to get the plus one bonus, I just have to upgrade it then? It has no, to be you masterwork would, first. You'd have... Yeah, you would have okay. to pay the extra 300 gold at a later time to get the masterwork version. Okay, um, let me see here. Because uh, I'm going to scroll through my player's guide. Well, at the, I mean, my core rule book. I'm going to go back and forth on pages, making sure I'm doing this as best as possible. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Dang, one of those times I wish I had my stri my Pathfinder strategy guide with me. It gives you gives ideal starting gear and price. Oh, nice. Yeah, I recommend the starting guide for most newer players, but it is kind of a steep price. It gives, like, here are different ways to play X class. Like, for instance, the Paladin, they have the Knight or Crusader style of play and, like, what kind of weapons to buy and stuff for both classes both variations. Yeah, I can't wear studded leather, can I? Nope. Uh, Didn't think so. Armor. Well, it's leather. It's uh, All it says is padded leather yes, and... Yes, you can wear studded leather armor. I can wear stu studded armor. leather? It's light armor. Alright. Looks like um, you're proficient with all light and medium armor. Yeah, but he's restricted to nothing made of metal. He can't wear metal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, it, it doesn't have it restricted here in... That's weird, because it, it, like, it gives, for medium armor, it shows, like, all of the stuff, like chainmail, breastplate. Is that just, is that a druid restriction? It's a druid restriction, yes. Really? Yeah. Um, Jay's name. Especially with light and medium, but are prohibited from wearing... I heard that, armor. Mike. <laughs> Pick huh. the... Pick That's the hard really weird class, that it, Nick. It shows that it's considered a valid item. You told me not to do the monk thing. When, <laughs> I'm just when the monk it. thing would have blended more with the story and what's going on in the environment. But no, no monk thing. Don't do the monk thing, Nick. You do the monk thing too much. 
Just now my, give it now to my photo like to make Kung Pao chicken. They, they may wear only padded leather or hide armor. So yep. like not even the studded leather because it's studded with metal protuberances. Yep. Now there is, of course, special materials later on that he can get that he can wear. Right. Like leaf armor, dragon hide, right. stuff like that. Wood armor. It mentions that in the in the in the Coro book that recommends wood because then you could use the ironwood iron spell, spell to make it like steel. Yep. Um. Um. Here, I, let me, because uh, I know you can have wood armor. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, you can do um, wood armor with ironwood. Or, um, where uh, is it? Yes, Crawler says they can't clothe themselves in the ores of the earth. That's thank you, reason. Crawler. That's the reason why, thank you. Well, Steven, yeah. shut up. We're doing Pathfinder. Character creation for Pathfinder. Shut up. What's he doing? Oh, Steven, he's bitching. Call yeah. me. Call me, maybe. Shut up. Here's my number. Uh, you could do wooden armor. That's not a bad thing. Um, mm -hmm. what's, what is this? You know, you know what? I'll just make it simple for now. I'll just say leather, and if I decide to get something upgraded later, I'll do that. Okay. I was also going to recommend Lamalar leather. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ultimate equipment. Sorry, bro. Yep. Yeah, I've only got two books, people. That's why I'm not as informed as everybody else. Cause uh, you've also, but not been playing as long as me or such. So yeah. Yeah. So not I'm to still kind of bit of a noob, but not to toot my own horn. Yeah, but I'm not too much of a noob to where I don't have any idea what the hell is going on. So yeah, but yeah, I'll just I'll go with the leather for now, and okay. you know, do that biz later. Okay. You. Um, uh, I would say pick up. You can go through gear later as well. I won't make you go through and pick up pick out all your gear right now, like. Your your kit like, like little rant has druid like, kit yeah yeah the, the kits and the caltrops and the the clothing and the, the yeah I can do that stuff with I can do that stuff with Mike later because yep. I'm gonna probably just get he, a character sheet from him and write this all down. You did make a note on that notebook of what um what you've uh, gotten right for scores or yeah yeah and like what you've bought so far or um, is that gonna be on your character sheet here on the website? Um, I don't know. Uh, rant is that going to be on the roll d twenty or no? For what? Well, everything For... he's bought so far and done with the character. I was just curious. No, I'm not putting it into roll twenty. Okay. I, I'm putting it into into Hero Lab. If you okay. want, I can export a PDF and send it to you once we have all the gear and everything. <laughs> he done. wouldn't know how to do anything with that. <laughs> he wouldn't know uh, the PDF file. Nick, do you could... know what he's talking? I'm sorry. What did you say, Rant? He just said that you wouldn't know how to do anything with it. I'm like, you wouldn't know how to read a PDF file? I know how to read a PDF file. <laughs> I know how to open a PDF and how to read it and everything. No, I thought I thought you were going to give like a file that he can copy pasta into. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. It's just, I thought... it looks like a, it exports it as a, like a Pathfinder, the actual Pathfinder character sheet. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's basically just a PDF copy of his actual character sheet. Yeah, I can read that, Mike. No, no I'm sorry, Nick. What I thought he was doing was going to send you <laughs> a file he could, you could copy pasta into Roll20. So. Well, he kind of thinks you're an idiot, doesn't he? Who, Mike yeah, thinks me? he kind of thinks you're an idiot, Nick, doesn't he? Uh, personally, I think it's just that uh, 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 I usually don't share this with people and definitely not a... Should Internet. I mute the audio on the stream first before you admit to anything. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. I, I don't care. I'm actually a high, what they call high functioning autistic. Oh. So, so that uh, basically, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, yeah. my like, I guess you could say in some aspects, according to the uh, to the very studious uh, testers in. The educational sh system to them, I'm basically, I guess, a genius. But there are just my moments where I come off like a dingus, and I'm actually a lot smarter than I come off. So, eh, no worries. Um, so, um, but I just yeah, make so, yeah. So, yep. I, that's just you know, that's how I am. I'm a little more open about it than you know I used to be, and I'm not ashamed of it. So, no worries, no worries at all, man. Nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so anybody listening to this, if I sound like a, I sound like a doofus, just ignore. He's also not, a doofus. <laughs> okay. So, 
You know where I live. I'm not afraid of you, Nick. <laughs> oh, you should be, sir. You should be. I'll add you to my soul collection. <laughs> Shut up, Ginger. <laughs> I'll turn you into a freckle. <laughs> oh, dear heavens. All right, let me go in. Put you in the ass of a goat. Add this. Oops. Okay, and this last one is for Gunther. Hey, Why Gunther. Why do you say Gunther? Gunther. <laughs> Great. Am I going I'm to sorry. Have to every German. He's Gunther. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rant, rant. He's not German. He's a penguin. He's a penguin? He's oh, a penguin. from Adventure Time. There's this cartoon show that kind of, I guess, supports the idea of D&D &D and all that. And there's this little penguin who likes to get into, like, break things and just be mischievous named Gunther. And all he does is go, wah. That's that's it. All right, so. so just slash roll five d six. Uh, yeah, one second. Okay. No, no. Okay, so it's um, yes, crawler. It's going to be Sundays at six Pacific time. Well, Sundays at six Arizona time, which right now is Pacific. Come November, it will be six Mountain time. So. Yikes. Okay. Um, just so you know, Nick. Uh, uh, Red. She had just stated that uh, she has a personal friend that is exactly the same way as you. I'm assuming. One of the one of the Chatters. commentators said that. Yep. Oh, that's nice. One of the viewers. Red, thank you. Red's a regular to our stream. She's one of my moderators as well. She's pretty awesome. Well, yep. thank you, Red. I appreciate that. Okay, so shut up, Stephen. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna silence you and ban you from the channel. Calm your tits. So, <laughs> um, hey, rant, rant. I got a question for you. Sure. If you want, I like I just said I do to Mike. I can take Stephen and turn him into a freckle. Okay. Oh, where do you want me to put him? Um, on the tip of your penis. Uh, yeah, no. I'm good. <laughs> He'll talk too much. He'll ruin stuff for me. Hey, All right. Here, so, uh, it is time it's for... It's dark in here. It's time for Gunther to roll his... It's a little ability. slimy. All right. Here comes the first one. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Five, D, six, and we're going to drop two. Uh, that's a gonna drop two twos. That is a sixteen. Sixteen to begin with. All right. Oh, not bad, uh -huh. Mikey. And you can actually just arrow up and enter to repeat the last message if you're rolling the same things. All right, hang on a second. Let me. Uh, oh, you're right. I had a P I had a PDF open. Okay. That I was keeping track of stuff with. So one second. Uh, come here. Creation tool. Where's my creation tool? There it is. All right. Do, 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 do. Windows 10, hurry up and load. All right, 16. Okay. That's All right. Do the funky monkey. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. All right. So what now? How do I do the repeat? Hit up and hit enter. It uh, should. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. There's the next one. Same thing. A 16. Whoa. Drop the one right. and the two. Yep. That's 16 twice, Mike. That's not bad. 16. All right. And number three. Jesus! <laughs> six, Jesus Christ, a 17. So, wow. So like I said, normally... No, that's a six, that's a 6, 6, and a 5, so that's... Yep, that's a 17. So, yeah, okay, yeah. So normally yeah. we would be doing 3d6, so you could assume that you drop the last one. So mm -hmm. like the first roll, that was 5, 2, 6, 2, 5. Normally that would only be a 5, 2, 6, 2, and you'd drop one. So that was a 16, would normally be a 13. So that's why we're doing the, the you know, the, doing it this way. Um, the second one would still be a 16 because the one wouldn't count and he'd drop the two. This one he just rolled, the five wouldn't be there. He'd drop the one. That would be a 14 instead of a 17, but that's why we're doing it this way. So. Anyways, and plus continue. Mike's rolls are not always go. the greatest. Uh, all right, here comes numero four. Oh, geez. Another six, wow. five, five. That's another 17. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, that'd still be a 15 if we were doing 46. It's hey, still... little rant. I don't know if you're still there, but I call bullshit right now. <laughs> He's not. Oh dang. No. All right, ready for number five? He's like, do I still have to be here? <laughs> <laughs> he went out to play on the other computer. So. All right, you ready for number? No, All right, I'm here. Not. Five ones. All right. I want to five see like ones. a three. Oh, there's a bad one. No, there you, you drop the two ones, you still get oh, a twelve. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Now, so, if he'd been doing forty-six, then that would have been a fucking seven. Yeah. That would have been a seven. Fuck. All right, last one. Five ones. <laughs> Three ones. <laughs> Drop two. That's an 11. Nice. That's better. All right, that one is an 11. 
Okay. So, right. 11, 12, 16, 16, 17, 17. Can't wait till level four. <laughs> <laughs> wow, everything's going to be like what? Two, okay, you can have so 18 put, at level four, and then 18 at level, level one, eight. Paladin, you are half orc, correct? Half orc, correct. Okay. That means he's got big teeth and he smells funny. Um, so, normally, uh, your alignment is lawful good. I'm a paladin. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Paladins have to be lawful good. I forgot that. Now, uh, I'm deity. Lawful I am lawful do, good. Do we want to explain to the audience that lawful good paladin does not equal lawful stupid? That's exactly what I was going to say. I am lawful good, not lawful. I am, I'll, I'm getting the spelling for you, Rant. It's a Ragathale, one of the Imperial Lords. Okay. So oh, just, nice. I, if I just, there it is. If I just start typing it in, I see it. Ragathale. Okay. Imperial Lord of Chivalry, Duty, and Vengeance. Yep. Okay. Nice. You get plus two to one ability score. I'll do that in a minute. Yep. Um, all right, let's choose your ability scores first. One of my 17s, throw it in strength, just because. Because Paladins have got to be brawny. Okay. Um, second 17 is going to go into Dex. Damn. Hey, really? Okay. Yes. Really? That's that's pretty mobile for a Paladin. Yeah. Two-weapon fighter, Nick. Ah. Uh, uh, that's true. That's true. Uh, 16, one of the 16s, Charisma. Of course. That is a very charismatic half-orc. I'm going to go into, I plan to be kind of intimidating. Wait till you hear my backstory. Nice. All right. I, uh, what do we have left? a battle cry? 11, 12, and 16. 16 and con. 16 there you and go. Con. Okay. 12, intelligence. And 11 in wisdom. Yep. Okay, you get so, plus 2 to 1 ability score. Strength. Holy shit, dude. Of course. Still only puts you at a 19. A little rent was okay. 220s. Right, but... And I've know, got 218, so... Okay, you, all, you have common and orcish. You get one more starting language. Uh... Knoll, Goblin, Abyssal, Draconic, or Giant. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull up the... I wish to pull up the player's guide and see what that recommends for okay. an initial thing, if you know what I mean. Sure. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll be quick. Day oh, soon. The, the Hell's Rebels player guide? Yes. Okay. I wanted to see what languages they recommend that's on my initial list. Um, let's see here. Most people you'll be encountering speak the common tongue. Infernal would be a good choice to learn if your character plans on spying on the enemy or wishes to be able to read clues left behind by Thrun agents. Elven, Halfling, Shadow Tongue, and Strix are relatively commonly heard languages in the region as well. None of those are options for you. None of those are options. I believe well, because you're half orc, you have restricted options for starting languages. Which is funny because half elves get whatever the frick they want. Yep. Anyways, um. Well, well half orcs I... kind of tend to, you know, isolate themselves or be isolated, so it kind of makes sense. It's only a restriction on starting languages. Yeah, like, when I... you take mm. linguistics, you can take anything. Yeah. Uh, crap, I forgot. I'm bringing up the thing right now to see what the... Um, I'll take Abyssal. Abyssal it is. I'll take Abyssal. So that means if a demon starts talking shit to us, we'll ask you what it's saying. Abyssal is... Abyssal's demon, Infernal's devil, isn't it? I believe so. I was going to say, yeah. I can't remember which one's which, but... Uh, I, I think he's got it right. Yeah. Oops. All right. Uh, you know, hold on. Yes, get rid of that. Start that again. All right, so yeah. just so I've got my Abyssal, stuff... Abyssal uh, was among the first languages developed in the atmosphere. The sib sibilant fluid tongue is used by mortals in various religious and magical settings. Our scholars speculate that Abyssal language, but I believe that's right. I think it's it's commonly referred to as Abyssal is the language of demons and Infernal is the language of devils. Someone in the stream or the video could uh, correct me if we're wrong, but I think that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, make, ha now. make haste, dear viewers. Make haste. By the um, sword of Ragathal, you shall be avenged. That's right. I will avenge my family. Optional variant go. channeling. Huh? I don't know, it says an optional variant channeling. I don't get channeled till fourth level anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what variant channeling is, so Um fine. basically it's do I wanna give bonuses to people when I channel instead of healing? Yeah. Um it's it's a thing for paladins can do it to use their mercies in their channel. So are you ready for the feat? 
Uh, sure. Feats. Two weapon fighting. Boom. Oh, there so it you is. You said two weapon fighter. Oh. Yep. Two handed thrower. <laughs> okay. Traits. Two tons of Traits. ass kickery. Okay. The first trait is a uh, racial half orc racial trait called brute. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, brute plus one trait bonus on intimidate checks, and it is a class skill for you. You uh -huh. have worked for a crime lord, either as a low-level enforcer or as a guard, and are adept at frightening away people. I'm working for the Church of Abadar, you so, are you know. a guard for the Church of Abadar, absolutely. Okay? All right. And campaign trait from Hell's Rebels. Yep. I am Ex-Asmodian. Ex-Asmodian, okay. Um, um, Rant, I think we forgot that on me. Okay, yes, you're right. We did. We didn't do traits for you. Um, no, we did we one. Were... We did We did the heart of the wilderness, the no, alternative that's a, trait for that's you. that's an alternate racial trait. That's not a character trait. Okay, but yeah, we, we forgot traits. Okay, Crap. we'll it's... do that in just a second. So, yeah. um, so this is so one Nick, of the start campaign traits. He will get plus one trait bonus on attack rolls and weapon damage rolls or plus one trait bonus on save DCs of your spells against agents of House Thrun and worshippers of Asmodeus, including most, but not all, devils. So, is it going to be a plus one attack and damage or on spell DCs? Yep. Which one? You get one oh, or the I, other. Oh, I have to pick? Yep, it's one I or the other. I thought that just... I th oh, okay. Uh, give me the plus one on attack and damage. Yeah, it's uh, you get plus one attack and damage or plus one on s the bonus on the save DCs of your spells. Huh. Okay, I assumed I got both. Okay. Nope, uh, unfortunately. You, I think all of the campaign traits in this one are like that. It's you get one or the other. I so. gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, skill points. You have three. I will take favorite op class option to gain a fourth. Uh, take it, what is it? Favorite class options. You oh, get each instead of in, instead of the um, bonus hit point at level one? Yeah, I wish to take the skill point. Okay. So you get four. Um, I get four. Okay, we're going to put one... Did, Nick, did you take Knowledge Religion? No. No. Give me Knowledge Religion, Intimidate. Knowledge Religion, Intimidate, plus ten to Intimidate at level one. Fuck. <laughs> you said what to me? No! <laughs> <laughs> um... Your class skills, Diplomacy, Handle Animal, Heal, Knowledge, Nobility, Ride, Sense, Motive, and Spellcraft. I think that's going to be a good one, too. Give me Knowledge Nobility. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a good one in Kentargo. Yep. Yeah. And, um, what we're, uh, give me Heal. I'll at least take a rank in Heal right now. Okay. Um, do you know weapons, armor, gear that you have or no? Uh, one, uh, the weapon, I'm not sure on my armor yet. Uh, hang on, I can bring up armor real quick. It's 150 gold to start with, so... Um, all right, in terms of armor, or weapons, orc double X. Orcish double X. Ouch. Because smash, because two weapon fighting, I'm a freaking orc. That's Come right, because it's, it's an, an exotic weapon, but you get anything that has the orc name in it as a half orc. As a martial weapon, there's a difference there. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, um, has, this has it listed as an exotic two-handed melee weapon. Yes, it's exotic two-handed. Um, it gets dropped down to martial technically because it's an orc. So I, I thought, like I thought, with orcs and half orcs, you basically your proficiency is like it has a list of proficiencies. Plus any war weapon that says orc in it. Same with dwarves. They get any weapon. They're proficient with any weapon that has dwarven in the name. They okay. It is. They get X weapons for free. Like an orc, for instance, gets falchions and I want to say great axes for free. Half right orcs out of the game. are proficient with great axes, falchions, and treat any weapon with the word orc in its name. Oh, as a martial weapon. Yes. And then you that's... have martial weapon proficiency. Yep, because I am a paladin. That's right. That's right. So that's that's how that that, that works. Yeah. Um, for armor, it's going to be thirty gold. Uh, it's called Kiko. Yep. Is that in there? Um, yeah. I've I've okay. got most K, K I K K O. Yep. yep. I've got. Mo uh, you do not have enough. Uh, that's two hundred fifty gold. No, it's not. Kiko is thirty. Showing me two fifty. 
from Ultimate <laughs> Combat or Ultimate Equipment. Ultimate Equipment, yeah, it should only be thirty gold. Yeah, it's showing me two. It's showing me two fifty. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me grab my Ultimate Equipment book. Hey, uh, Rant, see now I can take a minute to ask you real quick. Sure. Um. I was reading over the Pattern Seeker uh, trait for the campaign. Um, does that really help me at all? Because to be honest, I've looked at a lot of the other ones. I don't really see anything that fits, like, what my class or what I'm playing. So that looks to be, like, the only real one I can use, to be honest. Yeah, I see 250 for this, for Kiko Armor. All right. Okay. Um, where is it? It's Yeah, it's in Ultimate Equipment. Yep, I'm. I've got it open right here. Under Eastern armor. Yep. Kiko, it's thirty gold. Page um. Hold on. Page nine, ultimate equipment, thirty gold. All right, let me open mine just a second, because it, it's shown on D twenty PFSRD. It's showing me that I've got the P, a PDF copy of ultimate equipment. Hold on. Yeah, that's strange. Yours is a misprint. Because uh, even cool. on Archive of Nithis, they've got it the same way. I'll go to D twenty even. I'll I'll check D twenty. Uh, like the Here we go. Okay. PRD says 30 as well. Huh. Okay, what page? Page oh, 9, ultimate equipment. Kiko, yeah. Plus 5, plus 4, minus 3. Plus 5, plus 4, minus 3. Yeah, I see it. That is, wow. That is really weird. Um, you know what? Let me check something. I have it. I think I know what it might be. Uh... Hang on a second, I'm getting a phone call. Be right back. Have you guys been able to resolve that yet? Weird. I was thinking um, that maybe like it was something, it was different. Like in Ultimate Combat, it was 250. And yeah. ultimate equipment is thirty, but nope. I have I've got both of them, ultimate combat and equipment, and they both say thirty. Yeah. That is really strange. So okay, then let me. I mean, the nice thing is I can go in here. Custom cost thirty gold. <laughs> God, that is super cheap for that. Yeah. Uh, hold on. For a plus five medium armor, wait a minute. Um, Jesus. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Okay, this is really weird. Yeah, I, yeah. Because in two different points, th there's a difference somewhere here. Looking at the pa the Paizo PRD, mm -hmm. okay, one page says 250, another page says 30. Hmm. But all right, because like I, the they websites both have the same stats. Yeah, because, like, right here on, um... Okay, this is, you know what, it is what I was thinking. The 250 is under yeah. Eastern Armor in Ultimate Combat. The 30 is under Ultimate Equipment. Okay. But I, but when I pulled up mine, I pulled up a copy of each book. It uh -huh. said 30 in both of them. So it must be a, it must be a, there must have been an errata problem, you know what I mean? And, and that's what I was looking for. Um, oh, okay, here's a thread online. Someone said, is Kiko armor for real? 30 GP plus 5 armor, or has that been a typo that's since been corrected? Um, seems too good to be true. Because, like, 4 mirror armor is even cheaper than yeah, that. Yeah, it says it's only 20 gold cheaper than scale mail, which is also plus 5. It's a bit of a power creep, really. They're very, very good at low levels because of the price. Um... I don't see any sort of response from anyone at Paizo as far as it being an errata or something. Because, like, um, on Archive of Nethys, it gives the two sources that the web that this came from. 
and they're using ultimate equipment's thing of 30 gold. Yeah. And even on D20 PFSRD, it's got it as the 30 gold thing. Yeah, and see, I just looked at the D20 SRD, which is the official Paizo resource document. Yeah. And like I said, ultimate equipment Eastern armor shows 250. Um, the ultimate... Or the ultimate combat Eastern armor shows 250. The ultimate equipment armor just shows 30. Okay. So well, and, and and even though my copy of Ultimate Combat that mm -hmm. I have shows Kiko at, at 30 under Eastern armor. So this is that's really weird, but yeah, I'll go 30. Okay. Well, if the if your program won't let you do it for no, sake it, of you no, know, it does. I can put in a custom cost. Okay. So, yeah, I just put in custom costs because, like, I had to do the same thing for, for Little Rant's um, ammunition and his black powder because as a gunsmith, he can cre he can craft it at a 10% cost. Yes. Yeah, as long so as you have. So instead yeah. of 10 gold per black powder dose, it's 1 gold per black powder dose for him, so I have to go in and adjust it. Um, this is me being a little powder or power creepy. I recommend he look at alchemical cartridges because that comes with powder and bullet in one package. Yeah. And it's even, it's just a little bit yep. cheaper and it he makes will. him reload faster. Yep. He took craft alchemy so he can make alchemical cartridges. Yeah. And it's all in one, that whole is all in one thing. And it's, you know, he, it's just a little bit more, but anywho, yep. um, all right, Red. Good to see you. I'll uh, uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining. Okay, sorry, I was muted for a minute. So, gear. What? What was it? I was gonna do a paladin kit, a crowbar. One second here. Um, paladin kit. Uh, shit. I don't think I have a paladin kit here. Is that from Ultimate Equipment? Yeah, there's one in Ultimate Equipment. That's why I don't have it. Shit. That's fine. You know, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have the Ultimate Equipment source book. In fact, I just bought Ultimate Combat because that's where Gunslinger was. I should have bought Ultimate Equipment for Hero Lab. That's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, you... I'm not too concerned about gear. I can go in and add custom gear later. Okay. Yeah, if we but, want to worry about gear, we can do that later. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not a huge... I mean, it's not until you start... Not until you start getting into, like, the magical gear and stuff. But, like, the yeah. basic gear as far as kits and tools and rope and stuff like that and candles and shit, I'm not too worried about that stuff. Um, as long as, you know, it, when, so when we start and you can go through and say, here's what I have, you know, and you subtract the gold and everything, and then obviously at that point any you know, purchases, um, it's like, hey, you know, I want to buy this or I want to buy that. Kintargo's a fairly decent-sized city. Um, let me get the stat block for the city. Whoops. Uh, we have that in the player guide, right? I uh, I don't know if the, if the city stat block is in the player guide or not. I'm pretty sure it's in here, though. Um, here we go. It is, yeah, it is a large city. So there's a lot of stuff available there. Um, so, what the hell? Um, yeah, so most of the stuff will be available, and I'm, I'm making... For, for the most part, I'm making firearms available for Little Rant as well. I mean, if worse comes to worse, he can always just craft his own crap, too. Right, right, that's true. He can, yeah, he can make his own firearms. So, some stickers. Yeah, I like more. gunslingers. I usually multi-class them to get a little bit better armors. Yeah. That's just how I do it, but I like the gunslinger. It's a very, it's a very powerful class, and at higher levels... He will be putting me to shame in damage, nice. and I'm the one with an almost 20 strength. Nice. <laughs> okay, so really the... Oh, uh, let me go over... Let me go back to Kamal. Um, two, three, two, feet, two. Or traits. Traits, traits. Okay, traits for Kamal. Nick, you there? Yeah. yeah. Did you think of traits? Yeah, I was uh, looking them over. Um, Already for had a question that. about one of them. Yeah, uh, the Pattern Seeker. If that really pattern speaker, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> let that's me fine. Basically, scroll down here. Yep. So uh, basically, you look for patterns everywhere. Fascinated by patterns and and trying to find patterns and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you get a plus one bonus on all perception checks, and it becomes a class skill. Also, you increase the save DC of any illusion 
or a uh, pattern spell that you cast by one and plus one trait bonus on all saving throws against illusion effects. You see, the second part doesn't really help me out, though, because I'm not really going to be casting illusions. True, so. but you would also get a plus one on your saves against illusion effects. Yeah, that's true, and that's probably going to be helpful, given the fact that um, Five. we're going to be fighting against basically... Uh, demons, so... Yeah, no demons idea. and devils. You yeah, demons no and devils. You have no idea what you're going to be fighting against. Well, <laughs> Dude, we're in challenge. Dude, it's Hell's Rebellion. That kind of, like, spills her right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't mean to throw the player knowledge in there. When there's a name like that, you kind of make conclusions. Okay. <laughs> kind of like the one I was complaining about earlier. Dragon's Demand. Going right. to be fighting a dragon sooner so or pattern, later. You want Pattern Speaker? Uh, you mean Pattern Seeker? It's Speaker uh, with a P. Yeah, why not? Armor okay. check, oh, armor check penalty. Okay. So you get, yeah, so perception. Oh, so that actually, wait a minute. Was perception a class skill for you before? I don't think it was. In, maybe it was. It should be for yes. druids. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it was. It was. Yeah. So it was. it's already a, a class spell for you, which is, but I mean, that's fine. It basically gives you a plus one to your perception. So plus nine to perception at level one, you know. Because no we don't, well, we don't have. survival. We don't have a rogue, so, you know, we need something to find those non-magical traps. Yep. Yeah. Um, do you have any other ideas for another um, trait that you want? I would or recommend Mike, do you have any ideas for him? Uh, I would recommend reactionary. Yeah, the, I was just about to say that, reactionary. Reactionary, plus two to initiative, nice. Which is which is good with a low, with a low deck score. Yeah. That's pretty good, because you only get a plus, otherwise you only had a plus one to initiative, so now you've got a plus three. Yeah, uh, remind me again. What are my? Where did I put? Where did I put my ability scores again? Because I know I put uh, eighteen strength. Yep. Thirteen dex, sixteen con, twelve int, eighteen whiz, thirteen charisma, and that includes racial bonuses and whatnot. Okay. All right. Holy so. shit! Your saves five, one, and six for Fort Re Reflex and Will at level one. Damn. Oh, uh, you said five, six, and five, one, and six. Four is five. Reflex is one. Whiz. Will is six. Jeez. Plus well, one my... versus illusion. Yeah. I have a no. I done. My saves aren't too bad, but of course they'll get sexy once I hit level two. Yeah. Yours are <laughs> five, I'm... three, and two. Yeah, that's not terrible. Yeah, little rant is five, seven, and two. Yeah, because they need that reflex. Oh, because he gets plus five. Because of his decks, and Dex. then another mm -hmm. plus two because of Mysterious Stranger. Oh, there you go. Yep. Um, right. Yeah, that's all I can think of on trade, so... <laughs> yeah. So, so our, the Little Rant's going to be our dodgy guy. I'm going to be the high HP guy with... Are you kidding me? Well, you've got more than me because of t uh, toughness. Right. Yeah. Right. What is... I mean, you all have decent... I mean, 13, 14, and 15 is decent HP at level one. Yeah. That's nice. Um, uh, Rant, where did I put my skills again? I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, Gunther. Skills you have. Uh, heal, intimidate, nobility, and religion. Nobility and religion. Okay. You're probably going to want religion, definitely. So well, that gives, it just makes sense for the paladin to it have does. it. It does. It really does. Well, yeah, plus, so for, plus you're the so only guy in our your, party your that has not religion. Or your skill scores are 4, 10, 5, and 5. Okay. Yeah. Is That's, that your, yeah. Yeah, you're intimidate. And, and the nice thing about Hero Lab is it tells me, like, you're intimidate. One rank, three class skill, three charisma bod, two racial bonus, and one trait bonus. So it adds it all up and shows me it's pretty nice. And then, of course, it goes even higher when I do the reason to um, reason for protest. Uh, yeah, what is your reason for protest? Upset, um, upset citizen. Or fed uh, up citizen, I'm sorry. Where is that? Uh, uh, Mike, fed up citizen is a trait, not a reason to protest. Freaking, um... Yeah, reason to protest, looking for trouble, well, looking for your idol... Meeting uh, Mike, you said for you it was protest to protest the government. The government. The government or that's right. Current events. Now yeah. those those bonuses are only during the protest itself. Right, but still, that's you know plus right. twelve. So <laughs> yours is to protest the government. Yes. So you. 
just got awkwardly you silent. The, you work at the bank. <laughs> and you're protesting well, the government. They don't like Abadar either. They really don't. And he's a lawful good paladin, and they're like, it kind of sort just of makes because, sense. Just okay. Just because I am lawful good and a paladin doesn't mean I can't disagree with the government. That's true. No, I'm saying that you being the lawful good paladin and who you worship, it makes sense that you're not agreeing with the with the government. Yeah, that's I'm true. Okay. Because they do have some issues with the government. I don't remember. I, I saw it in there so many times. I don't remember. There's like one god that they're okay with. Um, well, there's a lot more, but yeah. Um, no, the reason I chose Ragathel fits more into the background of my character and the fact that he's an ex Asmodian. Hmm. Um, he was, him and his sister were raised Asmodians by a, um, wealthy Chelexian family out here in Cantargo. Uh -huh. Um, not notable. And you took, because you took the ex Asmodian trait. Yes. I, the, my paladin eventually, he was being trained to be a knight, however, he did not agree with, he did not agree of how Asmodeus, Asmodians, he did not agree with how the religion became, it became something else to him than what he wanted out of life. Hmm. So he went no religion for a while, Thrun got upset, killed his family, left him to, basically they put him on a, uh, Put him on a cross type thing out in front of the house. Put the family inside and burnt the house down. They killed his. him? No, he was still alive. They made him watch his his oh. dad his dad and sister burn. Jesus uh, Christ! The church did this or the Thrun family? Um, Asmodian church. Yeah, Thrun basically. He's not sure if they were Asmodians or Thrun, but they were wearing the symbols as, as of Asmodians. Oh, that's right, because that's, that's the religion that, th that, that, that Kintargo's okay with, and the Thrun family is Asmodius. Yes. That's right. And the, the person who cut him down um, was wearing golden armor and said, you seek vengeance, follow me. Okay. And that's why I follow Ragathale. Oh, okay. And I just decided to take up work at the local bank because what's more intimidating and good for a bank than a guy who can detect evil? Oh, he's going to come in and rob the place. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. So, I'm starting yeah, to feel like I should just. I feel. I'm starting to feel like I should just. By the way, those who know certain DC comics should know that background story from one of the heroes. Oh, so uh, hey, you're not original at all, then? Of course, nothing's original anymore. Are you kidding me? No, you're uh, right. That's bullshit. <laughs> you're right. No, he's right. He's right. I disagree. I, I disagree. Okay, well, I am going to end the recording here. We'll give everyone a glimpse, a preview of our first adventure. This is here. The Aria Park protest is what we will be starting with. We kick things right off with a protest against the Kentargo government and the Thrun family itself. Um, the game will be played Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. Mountain, well, Arizona time, which right now is Pacific. Come November, it will be Mountain time. So everyone else uh, uh, observes Daylight Savings Time. We do not. Um, Lucky. And everything revolves around me. So I that's don't have a problem with why. That. Um, but yeah, we will get a little bit into some of the, um, what's going on and we'll set the preface of the story and the adventure path before we begin. Um, and we will try our best to begin as close as we can to, uh, 6 PM Pacific time this Sunday. That is going to be October 4th. So just a couple more days. And as you can see, um, the links below the stream, um, we are streaming for extra life tabletop appreciation weekend so any and all donations that are accepted are greatly appreciated they all go directly to benefit the phoenix children's hospital of the children's miracle network uh and so that will be all weekend long i'll be doing some board games and and whatnot with my kids tomorrow we'll probably be playing some pathfinder card game in That's addition fun. to some other board Sweet. games so a lot of board games this weekend um but by the time people watch this video it'll probably be over but um stay tuned and uh um, we will have videos published every single week 
and so be on the lookout for those. So we will see you guys on Sunday for episode one of chapter one of Hell's Rebels in Hell's Bright Shadow. Dun, so, dun, dun, dun. Right. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just had to stop the recording. That's fine. The That's end, fine. The end of the video. Um, so we still, we're still streaming. I'm going to switch up games here in just a minute. But yeah, okay. we'll finish up here with anything else you guys have and stuff. I'm just using Roll20 to make my character on the, the sheet okay. and stuff. Okay. Uh, Rand, I'll just get the character sheet from you, and I'll probably just have Mike print me <laughs> off a hard copy sheet so I can just keep it track of it that way. Okay. Um, if you just and you um, as for my over. reason for post-testing, because uh, I forgot to tell you that, uh, is tagging along. Okay. Are you tagging along with, with Gunther then or with someone else? Mm, yeah, why not? Why not with Gunther? I like Gunther. He's an all right guy. Okay. <laughs> Don't piss me off. I right. will intimidate the crap out of you. That's right. Like, I'm going to stick with the biggest guy here. Yeah, I'm with him. A big guy over there. Yeah, I'm with him. I well, he's the biggest him. guy right now, but when I start turning to a dire bear, he's not so big. Well, that's when I start buying potions of enlarged person, just saying. <laughs> so. We are going to have a kaiju battle in the middle of uh, <laughs> Kentaro. So I need to roll my stuff. Right. So. so yeah, if, if, when you guys get all like the gear sorted and everything and know all that, um, you can just send it to me either via email or via Skype, and I'll add yeah. it in. Um, if you don't have it before Sunday, that's fine. Just let me know at the beginning because it's very easy for me to to print off or to export the PDF and then I'll send it to you. Okay. Um. I, I probably won't actually, be able to. Hold on one second. I think I can print it off. Uh, um. The only thing. So I just it, this won't have any of your spells on it, unless mm -hmm. you know what spells you want to take right now. Like your first uh, I'll you I'll figure those out. Okay, um, it's not a big deal. It just it's nice in here because it prints out like like the whole spell block and well, has a the, description of it. So yeah. druids druids can change them daily. So right, right. Yeah. Just pray. And, and I, I was mentioning to them that time I think when you, when you were gone. Um, let me see here. Standard Dr character Dr sheet. Um, spells abilities. Okay. Level one so it, I actually case. have to save it to multiple PDFs. It's kind mm -hmm. of weird because it, it won't let me export all of them. It's like I can export the standard character sheet, abilities mm -hmm. and gear description, journal contents, which aren't any journal, spells, uh, full descriptions of spells, or summaries of spells. Nope, but I can't that is not the button I wanted to it's hit. It's really weird. So, uh, come all, uh, full, and then... Whoa, what the frick happened there? What? What? I just flooded chat somehow on accident. I don't see it. Is it all orange? It's all orange, yeah. Then we don't see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not seeing it either. Um, yeah, by the way, Rant, tell Red thank you for that share. Um, that's very well appreciated. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, uh, yeah, Mike will tell you, uh, he, when I first met him, I did not tell him that until, oh my God, I can't even remember how long before I was. I told him about that. So... If anything, I just try to be a little more open about it because, unfortunately, I get those people that they're just like, this guy's an idiot, and then they realize, holy crap, he's actually really smart. So, Okay. Um, you know. There you go. So I just um, attached them to Skype. So the full is your character sheet. Abilities is just um, a description of all of like your abilities and stuff. You're talking about mine, right? Yeah. Six. So, um, yeah, I'm not seeing it pop up on the Skype. Uh, Nick, click, um, click current, the current uh, chat. It'd be on the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, the, the little chat bubble that says show I am, and you should see it in there. And you'll be able to accept it. Show. Crit. Oh. Where where should it be at the bottom right corner of? Of your actual bring up Skype, okay? I've got my Skype up. I've had it up. There should be a chat bubble on the bottom right or on the right side of the screen. You should be able to see the chat thing. All it says is call started. Nothing else is there. All right, along your bot it should be no, on that, I think that might be just like the little Skype like open up the actual Skype window if you click on the Skype thing in the um Yeah, not the little black thing. 
just if getting you a look click on the, the Skype icon in the taskbar. Well, I'll tell you what. Here, I'll grab them. And um, what you got going on tomorrow, Nick? Uh, I got to work from... Basically, they're coming to get me at 8, and I won't be done until 2. Then from that time, I will be, uh, we'll be unloading everything. Do you have and an email? Got, huh? Do you have an email? I do. But um, I was going to your... say Sunday, though. I, I am available Sunday all day. So. Okay, I'll tell you what. Sunday afternoon, about 2 o'clock, I'll bring it over. I'll bring these things over. All right, I, I appreciate that, Mike. And um, I, what I'm going to try to do, because um, I have another job, my construction, uh, construction builders apprentice job. I'm supposed to be going, possibly going in on Monday, um, and I have to be up really early for that one. Mm -hmm. But um, so I'm gonna have to bounce out on the first session pretty uh, at a decent time. Okay. But I will talk to my boss and see if maybe he'd be willing to do um, skip Monday and have the first day be Tuesday. Okay. So. If um, not, I understand. Yeah. And it's kind of hard for me to ask him that because I'm basically helping him build his house. Yeah. So, and he was nice enough to, you know, hire me because I know his wife and because she's my teacher. Mm. So, it was basically, you know, out of the goodness of their heart, which thankfully I'm glad because, Michael will tell you, it's not easy finding a job up not here. Not in Michigan, it's not. Yeah, it's terrible. I, I've spent the last two years trying so hard and it's been detrimental it's like terrible but hopefully yeah hopefully um he'll be okay with that so and he's usually pretty relaxed so no problems there but uh problem not a problem yeah, yeah i will say this though if my if this character dies i'm changing to monk <laughs> uh nice but um all right. Okay. Um, cool. How do I sign out of the? Uh, just close. Um, just close. Just close the window. Yep. Just close Skype. No, I'm not talking about Skype. Scroll twenty. You can just close the window or go to the little gear, my settings, and uh -huh. there, scroll all the way down and exit game. All right, and then this will be my game. Uh, my yep. game log, I guess. Yep. So also, actually, when you if you click exit game, mm -hmm. do it as well. It'll show all of your games. There, uh -huh. it'll, so it'll take you to a page that says My Games. And so you, when you log back into Roll20, it'll show you this or something similar. And just click. And I just game. hit Join Game. Yep, and you'll jump back in. Cool. It's missing. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I'm going to I'm gonna have to tell some of my old 3.5 buddies that they decided to, because a lot of them converted to uh, Pathfinder. I wanted yeah. to tell them, like, if they decide to do a campaign, if they want to do it over uh, Roll20, heck yeah. It's pretty slick. Yeah, because um, pretty slick. I like it. Yeah, because uh, to be honest, they were kind of like boohooing on me when I first recommended it. Back, no. back when, it, well, it's because they're still playing three point five, and yeah. I think I was, some of them just like to host sometimes. So, I was kind of hoping, is. Rance, you could help me with the. I'm trying to set attack, create attacks and stuff. And I was just wondering if you knew how to do that, but if not, no big deal. Not specifically. Okay. Um, I mean, if worse comes to worse, I know my modifiers. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, um, but all right, I guess I'll yeah, let you I Yeah, I've never actually done it from a player perspective. I'm, I've always, I actually just use macros for everything. There you go. Um, I think that's what it's putting my, down my dice too, back. Um, yeah, I just go in and I use macros. I have kind of a little character template that I've created, and it has about a dozen stats or so, and I just put those stat numbers in, and then, um, like, most all of the macros are created, and I, I only have to make a couple adjustments to get them to actually work mm -hmm. and whatnot. So I don't use the full-blown character sheets. Um, some of the guys in my last campaign did, and it was very useful, but... Like I said, I don't know all the details exactly how to do that. Yeah. Um, hey, Rant. Make sure you fill out everything, even if it's put in a zero. Also, click everything that's clickable, crawler says, mm -hmm. for making attacks. Mm. Yeah. What's up? Um, do you have Mike on Facebook? Nope. I've okay. got his RLL gar gaming, and that's about it. I don't know what that... I've, um, I've got a... Here, I'll, I'll send a link. I've got a Facebook page for um, my RLR gaming. It's oh. Rant and Little Rant. 
All right. Well, um, I'm gonna bounce bounce on out of here. Okay. Because I gotta hit the hay soon. Okay. No worries. Um, but yeah, uh, if you ever need anything from me, just send it to me through Skype or just let Mike know. Sure. And you know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But cool. I'm gonna bounce out of here, fellas. Um, right. see you Sunday. See ya. See you Sunday. All right. All right, Rant. Is there anything you wanted to go over with me before we say goodnight? I well, I'll, I'll watch you stream or whatever. But yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Uh oh. All right, uh -oh. man. I'll bounce out as well. Have a good one. Cool. All righty. I'm gonna stop and restart the stream just to make, change a couple settings, and uh, I think I'll play a little bit of League. All right. Have and fun. I'm having a bit of issues trying to get out of here. <laughs> well, we could just.